Earlier this week, the legislative yuan approved an extra spending budget for the Air Force and Navy, allowing the government to spend up to 240 billion NT on eight weapon systems. On Thursday, the executive yuan announced its plans for the budget, which came to a total of 237.3 billion NT. It includes provisions for coastal missile systems, drones, and advanced anti-ship missiles. Lawmakers say the weapon systems will turn Taiwan into a hedgehog that China won't dare attack. In the face of China's increasing military threats, which have ramped up tensions in the Taiwan Strait, the executive yuan previously put forward a bill to provide a special spending budget for the Air Force and Navy. The legislative yuan passed the bill on Tuesday. The bill will allow spending of up to 240 billion NT on defensive arms procurement between 2022 and 2026. The executive yuan has proposed a 237.3 billion NT spending plan that includes procurements for anti-ship, anti-air and counter-threat weapon systems. The budget plan allocates 79.7 billion NT to coastal anti-ship missiles, 69.2 billion NT to fast and stealthy multi-mission corvettes, and 3.2 billion NT for weapon system upgrades to equip Coast Guard vessels with during wartime. The plan also includes 8.9 billion for multiple launch anti-air rocket systems, 34.7 billion NT for ground-based anti-air missile systems, 12 billion NT for unmanned counter-attack systems, 12.6 billion NT for Wandian air-to-ground cruise missiles, and 17 billion for long-range Xiongsheng cruise missiles. Pan Green lawmakers have said the upgrades would significantly increase the density of Taiwan's missile systems, effectively turning Taiwan into a hedgehog that would deter a Chinese attack. These eight weapon systems are precision strike active defense weapon systems. They will turn Taiwan into a hedgehog and make the PLA think twice about attacking. They will question whether they're actually able to annex Taiwan. So this is very important for Taiwan's defense and complements strategies for the whole of the Indo-Pacific region and for peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. When it comes to our economic development and our democratic systems, this is also quite important. Taiwan is moving toward producing missile systems domestically and at large scale. So this will be helpful for our domestic manufacturing industry and to improve the capability and quality of missile system production in Taiwan. It can spur growth in Taiwan's defensive arms industry. Taiwan is hoping to counter the Chinese threat not just with arms procured from the U.S., but also with its domestically developed weapon systems.